Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video I will show you how and why you should replace your old coils and spark plugs. I have this Reno in front of me that is gonna be the test subject and over here I have my new set of uh, spark plugs and coils. I'm gonna start the car and show you how she is running with the old sets of uh, coils and spark plugs because at first glance there isn't anything that seems to be wrong with the car but when I disassemble them I will get in more depth why and what is uh, the reason for me to do this. So let's hear the car and then I will quickly disassemble the old ones and walk you through what is going on with this particular car. So let's start. As you saw, at first glance the car works fine, but when I inspected the vehicle it became obvious that the car needs to be serviced in a way. This particular vehicle has more than one reasons that we are gonna do this. By we I mean myself and the owner of the car. First of all, you can see that these coils over here, it has four for each cylinder and these coils are not the same these three are the same kind but I think that they are not the same age the first and the fourth coil and the third coil resemble each other but I think that they are different in age while the second one is completely different coil and this will be more obvious once I disassemble them. To disassemble them it is pretty straightforward and simple. I have to disconnect the connectors on each one of them and in each coil there is this uh, 6 millimeter screw that uh, ends with 10 millimeter head for wrench. So I'm gonna unscrew that just simply pull out the coil and then the spark plug is gonna be underneath. I'm gonna take the spark plugs as well. The second reason for me to wanna check what is going on with these coils and eventually replace them is because you can see that the wiring is a bit uh, under the weather as well but this is a different story so we won't get into that as well. But what I wanted to mention is that the, the car actually has a problem or at least I'm hoping that I'm gonna solve this problem by replacing the coils and the spark plugs. A few days ago she, while the owner of the car was driving it, on an intersection the car has stopped working, the engine has died and the owner couldn't restart the car so they towed the car and eventually later on the car had started and when I went to inspect what is going on everything was fine the car started worked and everything seemed to be fine except she misfired a couple of times once we started the car and she was cold so after that I took the car to my shop and tested it along the way and everything seems to be fine but on site I determined that uh, the car needs new coils I'm gonna show you why and new spark plugs of course so there are more than one reasons that we are doing this and hopefully this is gonna be helpful to you as well to apply this into your own projects and cars if you think this is gonna be the case you may consider sharing commenting liking and subscribing for my channel for more content like this hopefully this is gonna be truly helpful or interesting to you so let's get back to work I'm gonna start by unplugging all of the coils and uh, all of the spark plugs
well guys everything is removed from the car and I want to start by showing you the coils because they are the main focus of this video this is on the fourth cylinder you can see how it looks like this rubber seal over here that protects the um, spark plug from sparking through the um, head it looks very 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 good at least at first glance but when I inspected the car I first disassembled this coil and it looked the same way I want to show you what happened when I tried to remove the spark plug with it you can see it started chipping out it looks okay at first glance but once you touch this thing it starts chip and you can tell that this is pretty fresh it wasn't like this before so this is one of the, the reasons and the more obvious reason for me to do this is visible on the third coil on the third cylinder this is why I said that this is probably older than the rest I don't know how to show you you can see over here on my finger the cracks hopefully over here we have a major one you can tell so this thing is cooked this doesn't supposed to be on the car basically this is damaged coil so i think that it is a serious issue so i have to i have to remove them and uh, the other thing is that the spark plugs you can tell that the distance between the anode and the cathode on the spark plug is huge they are so old and so damaged that they need replacing i will leave the camera for a moment and uh, get a new one so you can compare the distance between the new and the old one so you'll be able to tell very very easily the the difference so let me grab one well guys i hope you can tell that the distance i'm gonna try to show you this distance over here and this distance over here is quite different and the new one is significantly better in this way as for the old one the distance is huge simply huge so the one thing that i forgot to mention and to show you is that this coil is completely different from the rest you can tell it is different model different make so it is weird to have uh, different coils on the car and hopefully by replacing the spark plugs and replacing the coils with the new ones i'm gonna grab one just to show you the reference everything is gonna be soft and the car is gonna be road worthy again so all i have to do is in reverse order of this symbol i'm gonna mount the new spark plugs then the new coils and we'll see how the car is gonna run so let's go on and do that i'm gonna quickly take one coil to simply show you how it looks like and we are back at mounting everything so this is the coil you can see that it looks so much nicer and fresher and i think that the car is gonna work so much better with uh, the new coils and spark plugs at least i'm hoping for so let's start installing everything
I need to clarify something. On the second cylinder, the misfortune that I had was because of this rubber piece of the spark plug tool. When I took the tool out of the spark plug, this remained behind, so I wasn't able to install the, the, the coil onto the spark plug. So I had to take the spark plug out because I couldn't take this off and then reinstall it. This was the reason that I was using these clips for installing the spark plugs because I didn't want this to stay behind and again this stayed behind either way so yeah sometimes these things happen well guys this is all I have assembled everything and the one kind of distinguished noise that uh, car made was from this lever over here it moved so the popping sound was from this thing not from the engine don't be mistaken I don't know if the mic was able to show you the difference if you were able to tell but the car now runs uh, at least for me staying beside the car over here and listening to the engine the car runs so much smoother and so much cleaner and so much better than before it revs easily and everything is completely different so for me this uh, was successful project so um, the car in future is going to run so much better and efficient probably it is going to save some fuel as well i don't know we'll see but um, definitely it worth the effort so hopefully this was interesting or helpful to you so thank you so much for watching stay safe hope to see you in my next videos and next projects bye for now